Alrighty then, we got a whole lot to cover here tonight. Here is our list. If you have not installed the two-week free trial yet, or you've got your stuff installed, make sure you go and get Algobox 8.5.1.5. This is the latest version. We're gonna be talking about the updates and the changes. Talking about 10 things that you need to make sure you got updated as we go through things. First of all, I need to take a note of the installer with the two parts required and optional. We've got the DCDM strategy signal audio alerts that are now included. Flowmaster Delta sounds and the red and green horizontals that come with them. We're going to talk about that. MacV histogram, the five chart and the three chart layout and the advantages of each. And then, of course, deprecated stuff, stuff that will be taken off your charts to increase your performance. We got Lunchbot on the list and some hardware updates. Stay tuned. Speaking of hardware updates, I'd love to send you a 43 inch monitor it is again father's day week here and um just to celebrate all that i'm sending out 43 inch monitors along with the black friday offer that we do only twice a year so stay tuned for that at the end of the video and let's get into some of these things here right now roll it Alrighty then, let's come on up here to our top screen. So this is our standard layout right now. If you have not installed uh, the system yet, make sure you uh, you do. And this will be the first current layout. And we talked about the three chart versus the five chart layout. So when you first get your setup, you're gonna have that five chart, standard five chart layout. If you wanna make yours look like mine, Basically short, getting right to it. You can set yours up just like this. These um, these chart layouts will also be included on the left-hand side of Discord. I'll be putting that in there along with a 4K layout that we talk about here as well here tonight. So on the installer, when we talked about that, if you are doing the installation, there are two parts now. So as you go to that slide, let me pull that slide up here for you. What that look like so come on down here to that window so if you're going to the installer make sure you pay attention there is a required and there is optional those of you guys who have been asking about hey where's lunchbot lunchbot isn't installed on my system you've got to do the optional installation right here so it will be two steps of the installer it's a little bit different if you've done our previous ones uh that was all kind of included these are separate now as the auto back bot pack will be including some new things so if you are in the gold members club right now again gold is going away at the end of the summer so if you guys have not gotten in or if you've been on the fence about it Again, this is only going to be included for gold members, and gold is going away at the end of summer. You will have to purchase things separately. So if you're in here with gold, it is yours for those robots. So yeah, I mean, that's stating facts. Throwing it out here. Let's go back up to the top screen here and go through our three screen layout that we were talking about before. All right, so once you've got your installation set up, of course, you'll have the standard five uh, chart set up and we are making adjustments. So again, the title of this video is about the updates and changes that you need to be doing. So you guys have seen my kind of three chart layout. We've got one, two, and three. Again, primary filter. We've been talking a lot about this lately. Again, Tide and Wave are on another screen for me. It's not that we're getting rid of those. You need to make sure you keep those in. But if you want to have a simplified setup, you can reduce yours to the three chart setup that you guys have seen me me put together in the latest videos so i'll be using that a lot more and you guys have questions around that do let me know so uh this is the chart layout i'll put those over there in the left hand side in discord for you guys to pick up the actual workspace layouts if you'd like to pick mine up now some of the new stuff we talked about so on our list here that we're talking about is going to be the dcdm all right, so next on our list here, we're going over that DCDM strategy signal. So now you've got the DCDMs going to be alerted. Somebody had put in a, a room a while back to say, hey, would it be cool if we could do the double crosses, have an actual alert for when you get a double cross? So that is now included. We'll show some of those and the audio alerts on that. Let's get into that one right now. Come up here to, oh, I pressed these. So we're gonna go over here to RTY over here on the right to show some examples of that double cross, double move alert. So when these show up, you will get alerts now. You can custom, uh, customize those to your heart's content. You can set those up for um, whatever audio you would like. There will be some posted over there on the left-hand side of Discord in the audio menu section. So if you want to go in here and configure that, coming in here to the indicators drop down list, and you will come in here to the, the Flowmaster Cross. And over here on the top right, you will notice there is a new DCDM alert right there. You guys see that? So all you gotta do is check that off if you want the DCDM alert, and then the sound that you would like to play for it. Right now I've got one set to the awesomeness. Um, but you can hit that drop down and se select any audio sound you would like. And at the end of the summer, um, we'll be also putting in, so along with the 
uh, the audio and the visual part, we are also adding the draw horizontals. So I don't have that one on this one. We really, for me, I always tell you guys, I kind of want this on the higher time frame. I'm not as concerned with this being on the lower time frames. I'm only wanting to mark out the double crosses if they show up and it's something coming up in the future. But this is super handy if you don't want to draw your own horizontals on the higher time frames. These will automatically draw for you. So where do I want to put that? Over here on the higher time frame charts. Uh, let me take this one off always on top here. And so this chart, I would want this to come across on the bubble. So I'm going to come in here to my indicators once again and I'm gonna enable it on the bubbles and I'll show you guys what those look like. So the bubbles and the crosses, those of you guys who've been around with us already know that these are the same. If you didn't know that, well, now, now you do know. So come in here to Flow Master Bubble and right here on Draw Horizontals, again, it is there for the crosses. If you prefer the crosses on your higher time frames, that's fine. Um, I like to have them and bubbles on the higher time frames and the lower time frame on the entry charts being at crosses. That's the way I suggest it. So I'll hit on that Draw Horizontals. now. These are going to be the gray lines. They are basically supposed to be faded white lines so that they don't stand out too much on the lower time frames. But again, these will project down to your lower time frame. So this is what's handy. This can get, this might look a little messy here. Again, we're really not taking a whole lot of trades off of the sevens or eights, but we're going to be taking them off the lower time frames. These will project these globally across all of your charts. So a, you know, right here, clearly a zone that I want to be looking for a setup coming into anything around this spot. And here's spot down here and here and here. These are locations that we'll be looking for uh, ideal entries, especially if they're coming in with our timings or any one of our headshots, two finger salutes, um, HMDs, PRZ cross, etc. So those are two new features there. Um, one of the, one of the other items, The other item that we're doing with horizontals, we are drawing horizontals on the crosses, but we're also doing them on the Flowmaster Delta Flagging Pro. How do we do that? Now those are gonna show up in red and green. So you'll notice up here, we've got a green horizontal line right here, and we've got a red horizontal line right here. So you might be thinking, okay, well, where's this coming from? These are coming from the uh, correlated colors. You can't see it in the screen. Um, I can take off my video if this helps. Can you guys see through that? Yeah. So we, again, uh, it's basically these over here, right? We've got the Delta Reds. As these are breaking the threshold, I am going to draw a horizontal on the higher time frame. So these higher time frames, when you get these flushes coming in on the higher time frame, very important locations, as we'll talk about in more of our strategy scenarios as well. But just know that we now have those on the higher time frames for the Delta flagging as well. So if you want to turn yours on, they should be on by default if you've got our template set up. But if you need to turn yours on, we'll come right down in here to our Delta flagging pro right here. And as simple as checking off the little box right here, that says draw horizontals. Okay. In the next version, you guys will be able to control the colors and how those look if you want them dashed or solid. Again, I've kind of got them to my settings right now that are dashes. If you want to adjust those in the future, you can do that um, in the next release. And some other goodies coming up in the future release for setting up audio things. You guys will like that there coming at the end of the summer. But again, gold's kind of going away at the end of summer. So if you are interested in getting in with lifetime and including all of the bots and things that are coming in with it right now, you want to uh, take advantage of that Father's Day offer. And by Sunday, we are going to uh, send out the last set of 43 inch monitors. So if you guys want to get in on that offer, don't forget about that. So the next thing on our list, let's come over here to see what's next. So we've got the Mac V algo bars and the histogram and the five chart layout. Let's cover both of those now over here on our six screen as well. And so Mac V histogram, we've talked a lot about this, um, but if you are setting up the three screen layout, I'm sorry, the three chart layout, you want to make sure that you really focus in on what we're doing with the histogram. Go watch the videos on what we're doing with this. Um, essentially, this should be your primary filter coming in off of the histogram. And it's as simple as the step from filter to execute here on the two entry charts with your button sets here and here. Okay, simple as that. And this is the three screen layout. Um, well, let's compare and contrast the 
the five chart layout. So here is, again, this might be a little bit crazy. I just have this screenshot for, this is what it's gonna look like on a 4K screen. Now, again, we're currently streaming in the uh, 2K setup, so this is not gonna be super clear for you, but on a 4K, this is gonna look super clear and allow you to, um, to see a whole lot with literally fit four instruments on a single screen. Now you'll notice here, this is the five chart layout. So there are RTY, NQ, ES, and YM all on this single screen. This is the 4K layout with five screens, but you can reduce this by doing what I currently have on the three screen layouts. If you have separate screen and you wanna put the um, the tide and the wave up on a chart, kind of uh, up on one screen, kind of like I have here, where again, we've talked about this, how I've got this divided out, where we have our four instrument sets on the high time frames, the tide and the wave up on a separate screen so that we can make use of basically kind of doing the analysis on the high time frame, making your decision on which instrument, basically that decision comes off of this screen. And then I'm moving over to, we'll, we'll call it our entry screens or a single screen where we talked about that on a 4K, where you've got just a single screen with all of your instruments on one, but now you can see more with getting your, your Mac V just like this, right? Using this as your primary filter, this one as your entry and having lots and lots of visibility um, across the entry charts, I think is extremely helpful in my opinion. It really gives me that clarity and that visibility um, as we're executing on those, uh, on those entries, which I think is super important. I don't wanna say it's the most important, but it is very important uh, part of our execution to be able to see that and look to the left, right? Okay, let's go on to our next part. On our list there, we're gonna talk about the deprecated parts that we are gonna be taking off of our charts. Come back up here to our top chart on the YM. So um, some of you guys have, probably still have the old layout where we've got the, the profile off of here on the left. Um, I would take the, the profile off of the left-hand side. Don't need that anymore. You'll notice um, I don't have any of the ultimate oscillator, the OBOS on the ultimate. That is actually included in the code now inside of the dots. So that's kind of a deprecated item. I don't believe you need those two items. So two major ones that I would take off of your charts there to increase your performance as we're going into the next sections. Okay. Uh, our next one we've got here is the LunchBot. So. Again, a lot to be said here around LunchBot. I'm gonna do an entire video around LunchBot, but first thing, if you are doing the optional installation, you are probably looking for where that's located. So pull up your control center area and go into your workspaces. And again, you'll have the, the standards. I've got a whole bunch of others, but what we wanna do is pull up the LunchBot. So click on this one here. That's going to launch the algo box. I have to come back here down to the lower screen. Oh yes, this is very, very handy. If you need to roll over your contracts, this is super handy. If you see this, just go ahead and click yes. This will roll over all your contracts across your charts all at the same time. Super handy there on that. Let me get, um, we're coming down here into our LunchBot window and this is the, the standard layout. Again, we, we really wanna do this across seven or eight instruments, but um, by default, you need to at least have these four instruments running at the same time with LunchBot. That is my suggestion for folks. So um, default layout, you can tell if your strategies are running. Look up here in the top left-hand corner, you'll notice there are no, there's no text up here. Just look for text up here in the top left. It'll actually be some yellow text in writing that will give you some of the rules and information around LunchBot. If that's not showing, that means the strategies are not enabled. This is just the template section. And again, right here, we're only showing four instruments. This is out of the box, gonna be four. If you go through the LunchBot video when we when we redo the, the old one, but if you paid attention to the old one, you know that we should be running this across really seven or eight instruments at the same time. Uh, but if you've got it uh, just on four, this is kind of the minimum. So this is the minimum set up here where we've got our four instruments. So keep that in mind. Now, if I want to add our strategies, you're gonna need to do this. Please pay attention to this part right here. Everybody, I get lots of questions around this and <laughs> it gets very frustrating when it's like, I've talked about this in the videos. Please pay attention uh, to this part right here, okay? So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna strategies, okay? These are strategies that we are adding to our charts, okay? Strategies. And I'm gonna go in here to LunchBot, okay, double click it. Really with this stuff, this is very simple. Um, right now I've got it basically set to all the defaults. I'm leaving it on my SIM account for right now. And let's just click on 
Uh, you, you can enable the whole thing if you want by clicking enabled right here. But right now for this demonstration, I just want to add it to the chart. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you a couple ways to enable the strategies. Okay, but you can. This is one where you can enable it right there. Okay, now you can see the text up here. It's not in yellow yet. I'll show you guys which one I'm talking about to, to know that it's there. But this just tells us that the strategy is on the chart. Okay, so I'm going to add it to that one. Click OK, right click, strategies. I'm going to double click, add Lunchbot, that one, and I'm doing one more. I'm going to right click, strategies, double click on Lunchbot, and click OK. Now, Lunchbot has been added to all of the charts, okay? That's the strategy, but they are not enabled. Now, one way that you can check this out is to pull your control center right back down here and on the strategies tab. I'm now on the strategies tab, okay? If you are on your positions window, click right here. Now you will see the strategies laid out here. If I open this up a little bit, you'll see the name of the strategy over here on the left, instrument that it's on and some ad additional details, the account that it's being run on as of right now. You can change that to your live account at any point. And of course, connection, I don't believe, am I connected right now? No, I'm not connected yet. Or I am connected, but we don't have these on. If I want to enable all these at once, this is usually the way that I do this. I just go control A, okay, control A. That is for all. I always think control A, think of all. This is a, a window shortcut, but control A will select all of them. There are several ways I think you can highlight, click here and shift, select. Um, anyhow, lots of ways to do that. You can individually check off the enable buttons over here on the right. Okay, or you can come into here, highlight all of them, right click and enable. Right, I'm just used there and we want to right click and enable. There we go. So now remember that yellow text that I was telling you about, you can see that the things to note up here will now show up in the top left hand corner of the screens. Okay, so move this out of the way here now. And again, there are pieces of information you can gather from the corners of the screens for historical um, sections. There are things that are current. Um, this one's on the probably a wrong set here. I'm actually going to let's let's do an adjustment here real quick. Let's put this on. Just kind of curious what happens if we put this on proper time frame and see. There we go. Yeah, so that's 2,500. Very good. These are about um, kind of kind of good norm good numbers here um, as far as the data series going back. How far back? This is about two weeks. Yeah, so two weeks um, on each one of these right now. And again, top left hand corner should tell you. What the, uh, what the historical for that time period would have been for the uh, current stuff. So take a look at that. We'll go through an entire video on LunchBot, but I wanna make sure you guys know how to enable it. So the key takeaways there are basically coming in here to the strategies, select all, or again, I can individually disable these. Okay, clicking here, 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 that will disable. Again, if you want individual instruments, you can click them, click them through like that. Again, the other way to do this, if you are in the strategies and you're making any changes to any settings or anything, you can uncheck this right here to enable or disable. So this one particularly is for the RTY. I click right here, enable, click apply. You can see multiple ways to skin a cat there, but things you kind of need to know if you're going through the system. So hopefully that is helpful to you on enabling LunchBot. Again, that runs um, you know, with all the rules that you guys should already know. And if you don't, again, go check out the videos that we'll be doing on LunchBot or some of the old videos on NinjaTrader 7 for that, okay. Let's pull back up our presentation window. So the final section that we'll be talking here tonight about is the hardware updates. So we kind of talked about the 4K setup now. Again, one single screen, four instruments. Um, we'll just kind of go, look, get yourself a 4K monitor if you don't have one, if you want to jump in and get involved with us here. Father's Day offer, we're doing 43 inch monitor. If you uh, refer somebody, I am sending you a 43 inch monitor as well, just for the fun of it. It'll be awesome. I think it'll be great to have the crew um, having a bunch of 40, uh, 43 inch 4K monitors for your setups and being able to easily see all of your instruments all in the same place and location, especially now that we have the three chart layout. Again, that is really the key. You will need a separate monitor off on the left-hand side. For, so for your hardware, if you are doing a big center 43 inch monitor, you maybe wanna have one off here on the side. Right, so kind of a little mixed up there. Uh, so again, landscape is the standard, but if you want to put them in vertical portrait mode, uh, I think that's super handy. Uh, again, Curtis likes to have his where he's got two on either side. I think this is a very, very cool layout. And I've seen some other members that have that as well. Very, very cool. But for that three chart layout really gives super high visibility there on a single uh, 
4K monitor, whereas in the past I have, you know, recommended having, uh, you know, at least three of those, upwards of five to be able to really spread things out. If you're running LunchBot and things, it can be helpful to have additional screens, but I'm going with your minimal layout is that 4K monitor with your four instruments. Now, final thing there is the Corsair K57. Now, you guys know I have been a huge advocate of the K55 for like forever. It is a beast. It is an awesome keyboard. It is one that you can type fast on quickly. It's membrane, it's quiet, etc. All the reasons that there is huge advantages on using a K55. All of those, again, I tested this very thoroughly because you know me, I'm a stickler. The K57 is awesome. In fact, it actually feels better. It's odd to me how much difference it makes in the, in the key sets, I don't know what they changed on it. They also almost feel like they, they're like softer but tighter. Very, very odd how to describe these keys, but this is wireless. It is everything that you have in a K55, but it's also wireless. And it's got additional, few additional neat things on the color scheme setup. So again, that can be, um, you know, pretty handy as well. But the, the K57, again, I know I have said like there's only one keyboard and there's only one mouse. I'm still sticking to that, uh, but I'm shifting this over. It's been years, but the K57 has now, has now taken the cake from the king there, and now the K57 is a keyboard that I would definitely endorse to be my number one pick if you're doing a keyboard. And of course, the mouse, though, there is still, um, there's still no way to, to beat the current G300S. You know, still cannot beat the G300S. That's this beast right over here, if you guys can see. You guys can see that one right up here? Yeah, that's the G300S. That's the original right there. If you guys uh, want a great headset thing, I've got some suggestions over there on the right as well. If you guys want to check out some headsets, you can come hit us up over there in the chat and we'll talk more about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys got a lot out of so I know we covered a whole lot of stuff here tonight. And of course, make sure if uh, you have not done so already, take advantage of that Father's Day offer. You can get that 43 inch monitor plus the Black Friday offer. Hopefully you guys got a lot out of what we did here tonight. If you guys got questions, if anything I missed, put them down in the comments down below or hit us up there in the Discord chat. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang, let's another big H-Town. See ya.